Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. Our story for today, children, is going to be the story of the wise men visiting baby Jesus. So the wise men had come and talked to Herod and the priests and found out that the baby who was born king of the Jews was going to be born in the city of Bethlehem. And the wise men then, when they left Herod, found a star in the sky that they had originally seen in the east, and the star began to head south towards the city of Bethlehem. And they followed the star all the way until it rested above a house in the city of Bethlehem. Now, some people think that the wise men came on the night when Jesus was born, but the Bible tells us that Jesus was probably about two when the wise men came to see him. And the Bible also says that when the wise men came to see Jesus, he wasn't in the stable in Bethlehem. Instead, Mary, Joseph and Jesus were living in a house. So they now bought a house in Bethlehem, or maybe rented a house, but they, they were living in a house in Bethlehem at this point in time. And when the wise men got there, they came in and they saw the little baby boy Jesus sitting on his mother's lap. By this stage, he would have been a, maybe a one or two year old toddler. And they came and they bowed down before him and they worshipped him. And they brought him three gifts. A gift of gold, of frankincense, and of myrrh. So gold is it's a precious metal. It's like money. And it was generally the symbol of kings. Because gold was used for money and the rich people had money. So the reason they gave Jesus gold was because Jesus was a king. The other gift they gave him was frankincense. Now this was a special smelling oil that was often used in the temples by the priest. And so they gave Jesus this, this special frankincense because Jesus was also a priest. And the last gift they brought was myrrh. Myrrh was a little spice that they used to use in burial rituals. So when somebody died in the days of Jesus, they would actually have to wrap them in bandages and they would put myrrh in the bandages to help season the bodies and they wouldn't stink. And so myrrh was used as part of somebody's funeral. And so they gave Jesus the gift of myrrh because he was also going to be a sacrifice. When Jesus grew up, he was going to be a king, a priest, he was also going to be a prophet, and he would most importantly be a sacrifice. Because this little baby that they had come to worship was God in the flesh who was going to grow up one day and shed his body and blood upon the cross for our sins. And after they had seen baby Jesus, they left him, and they were going to head back to Herod and tell Herod where they were. But before they went back to Herod, the angel Gabriel came to them in a dream and warned them not to go back to Herod because he was actually evil and he was planning to hurt the baby Jesus. And so the angel Gabriel told them that they shouldn't go back to Herod, but should go back to their own country by a different way. And so they got on their camels and rather than going back to Herod, they took off back to their own country, leaving Mary, Joseph, and Jesus to be kept safe. And that's our story for today, children. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye, and God bless.